working now? Is it still lagging? Do we have connection problems or are we in business here? Shalom. Hello, Martin. Hey. My cat scope. Oh yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. Okay, so so far that's good. So let, let me tell my little story about my scopes yesterday. So I did a scope about a book that I'm reading about entrepreneurship, business, working for yourself, mistakes that a lot of new entrepreneurs make, and the stages of a business from infancy to adolescence to maturity. And I was I was talking about that. I was reading the book. It was really interesting, I think. And I got one live viewer. Hi, Razor Burst. I got one live viewer. And then my next scope, like immediately afterwards, I mean, I finished Support You in Yoga, I will. We'll be doing yoga in a little while. And I don't really feel like doing yoga, so it probably won't be much. We're not gonna do any of that strong yoga that we've been doing. Um, but immediately after I was done reading the book, well, I wasn't, I didn't finish the book, but I was done reading it for the night. My cat climbed into my lap, and he's really, he's long and fat, he's kind of a big cat. He was just laying on me and I thought it looked really cute, so I started a scope about my cat and I called it Cat Scope. And I got 222 live viewers on Cat Scope. My book scope, nobody cares. No one cares about book scope, Taylor. Only cats. They just want cats. Hello. Hello again. Can you be my friend? Well, I have no idea who you are, so why don't you watch my broadcast and, and we'll get to know each other a little better and then maybe we will be friends. Hey Alex, hey Jack. It's not about seeing it, you guys, it's about doing it, so. No. That's a good song though. Can I get your number? But you're blocked now, so. Well. All right, so let's do meditation first. If you were drinking last night, hopefully it wasn't anybody, but um, if you're feeling a little hungover, this could be a nice way to kind of relax your body. And it actually, when we go into this state of meditation, it helps our body to rest, digest, and heal, restore, uh, rather than that fight or flight response that we find ourselves in a lot. So if you're up, but you're not really feeling like being up, maybe you wanna come meditate with us, or if you wanna just focus on being, uh, having more focus. I'm going to be everyone's yoga instructor here. Yeah, no numbers, but free blocks for creeps. <laughs> All right, so let's get, let's get our little meditation nest. If you want to grab a blanket, socks, sweater, pillows, be my guest. I'm going to grab a pillow and a blanket. Does everyone want to type in where they're watching from, what country you're watching from? You guys want to type in what country you're watching from here? I'm kind of curious. I think I know some of you. I know Martin's in Denmark, and Felicia is in Sweden. Hello. Hey, Christina. Haven't seen you in forever. Hey, it's Fal Original. I was wondering when you were going to come in. I didn't want to meditate before you came in because I figured you weren't going to sit here through the whole meditation. But You're watching from Illinois? Cool. What's a good position for what? What kind of... Um, Stretch are you looking for? What kind of strength are you looking to build? What kind of issue, pain are you having? Do you have stiffness, tightness in a certain joint? Martin's connection is bad today. Oh, Vermont checking in. Oh, hello, Vermont. We're actually not far from you. I'm in upstate New York here. So I could drive to you in about 45 minutes. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Scratching the kitty's chin. That was fun last night. <laughs> um, for back or leg? Okay. You're shaving, okay, well that's okay. If you don't type in, that's cool. So the beginning is a little boring because I just lay here and meditate for like 10 to 15 minutes. Although today it's probably gonna be pretty short. Yeah, right now we only have seven minutes left to meditate, so why don't we get to it? Yeah, Martin, it was, it was actually pretty late here to begin with, so it was probably extremely, extremely late there in Denmark. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and start meditating because otherwise we're gonna run out of time and I do need to meditate a little bit. So if you wanna just Focus on relaxing. Uh, I will, I'll do a guided meditation for this one since we have some newbies. So if you want to go ahead, get comfortable. You can do this seated if you prefer, uh, but I always prefer to lay down as long as you're not going to fall asleep. It actually takes the average person seven minutes to fall asleep. So let's see what we get. I'm going to lay down now. And the pillow that I got is for under my knees, not for under my head. Yeah, just relax. Begin to relax your body. One body part at a time. We tend to lose some of our body temperature while we meditate. 
So that's why I invite you to bring a blanket, a sweater, socks, so that you can get nice and cozy. And then we'll get up here in a few minutes and we'll all do meditation together. Thank you for the hearts. And I have egg drop going, so I'll catch your comments if you leave any during the meditation. And if you have to go, don't feel rude. It's all good. You can either come back or maybe I'll see you in one of my later scopes. Yeah, I'm on the East Coast, so you're probably six hours ahead of me in Denmark. I'm in uh, New York time, Eastern time. Okay, okay, time for meditation. Let's do it. Hmm. Get comfortable. Start to relax your body. Smoothing out the eyelids. Smoothing out the forehead. Keeping the mouth closed. Relax the jaw so that there's a little bit of space between your teeth. And peel the tongue from the top of your mouth. Relaxing the whole head and face. If you're laying down, you might want to gently turn your head from side to side. If this feels good for you while you're sitting up, you can try this too. We have over 30 muscles in our neck, and this helps to stretch them all out. Make sure you're staying in your pain-free range of motion. Never do any movement that causes pain. Relaxing the upper chest and upper back. Feeling your shoulders melt down and back away from your ears. That's where a lot of us hold our tension is in our neck and shoulders. So see if you can just feel them melting down and back. And feel that relaxation trickle all the way down through your arms into your fingertips. Feeling the whole arms are relaxed. Relaxed from the top of your head all the way down through the fingertips. Feeling the arms are heavy and soft. If you're lying down, your palms can be turned up to face the ceiling, or maybe you relax your palms on your belly. Relaxing the ribs and spine. Scanning the upper body for any areas of tension and see if you can let that go. Feel the belly relax. We'll take five deep belly breaths together here, sending your breath deep into your belly. You can do this no matter what position you're in. And a full exhale, squeezing out all the stale air from our lungs that we carry around all day so that our next breath is fresh air. Full deep breath in. And exhale. You can do this at your own pace three more times. This is a great way to tone the belly and diaphragm and help the body to relax in and out of the nose. Two more times. See if you can fill the lungs completely with breath and then completely exhale all that air out. Last one. Maybe you want to hold the breath in for a few seconds. And then open the mouth, let it go. <sighs> and if you weren't with me there, you can try that now. Taking a deep breath in, holding the breath in for a few seconds, and then opening the mouth, letting it go. <sighs> Feeling the relaxation melting into the hips. Feeling the entire hip joints relax, glutes and pelvis relax. And 
lastly the legs. Big muscle group of the legs, ankles, knees, and feet. All relax and let go. Whole body is relaxed. Notice how the body feels relaxed. And notice if any tension has crept back into any areas we already scanned and let it go. You can gently begin to move your body. We won't be going deep into meditation today since I procrastinated a little bit. My apologies. So if you're laying down, you can roll onto one side using your lower arm as a pillow. You can set an intention for your yoga practice, a reason that you're here. Some pain maybe in the back or stiffness somewhere that you want to open up and relax. Or maybe you want to gain strength. Pick one thing to focus on here. We call this our sankalpa and yoga, our intention for our practice. And take your time. Whenever you're ready, you can gently press yourself up to seated. Stay cozy in your blanket if you want. Thank you for all the hearts. I love it. And we can bring the hands together at the heart center. Whenever you're ready, don't rush to get here. And bow the chin to the chest, honoring yourself. Honor yourself for dedicating this moment to your health. And relaxing the body, releasing some tension, and helping to restore your nervous system and heal your nervous system. And whenever you feel complete with that, you can release your arms back onto your lap and we're going to get ready for some really gentle yoga. I'm just scanning for any comments that might have come in. No, I think we're good. Perfect. Okay. Let's get to it. Okay. I'm excited. Who else is excited? Woo! I'm excited. I don't really want to do yoga like I said, but it's all good. Okay. So, we'll come sitting. Let's try Burmese pose. So, you're going to have one foot in front of the other one rather than cross. Hey Zeke, what's up? Oh, Zeke, you won the heart contest yesterday. You gave me the most hearts. Good morning. Um, and I think you won it twice, two broadcasts in a row, and I didn't get a chance to tell you. So, hey Dr. John, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Oh, I have a soothing voice. When I, when I take you through the meditation, I, I've heard that. Thank you very much. But my normal voice, I'm kind of a spaz. I kind of get really excited about nothing. My voice kind of, whoo, you know, shoots up there. It's kind of alarming. But I appreciate that. Thank you. Good morning, Dan. Yeah, you're on a roll. I mean, you're definitely not going to win the hearts this time because I think Felicia and Dee have a big, big lead on you. I mean, Dee is definitely dominating everyone right now. He's sent 3,400 hearts on this broadcast already. We've been going for maybe 15 minutes. So. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. And shalom to you, Martin, as well. So, Burmese pose. One foot is in front of the other, and then you want to try to pull your knees apart from each other so that you, you can try to set your knees down on the ground. A cat in the hat has socks like this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Fowl. That's so nice. I don't know what to call you. I don't know what your name actually is. I just call you Fowl, and that's fine if you want to be called that. Yeah, sorry, Zeke. You're going down this time. And then if you can't support your knees with the ground, you can put blocks under your knees or some supports, blankets, pillows, so that you don't feel too tight there. And take a deep breath in. And then we'll exhale, straighten the legs out straight in front of us. You dig my socks. And we'll take our hands next to our hips and just roll our ankles a few times in both directions. And then switch back the other way. Hello, people on Facebook. Hey, Erin. Erin is my wifey, that's what I call her. Mmm, good stuff. And then find some stillness and go ahead and windshield wiper the legs. Good stuff. Alright, now when you recross your legs, you're going to cross the other leg in front. Foul will work. Awesome. And I shall call you foul and you shall be my foul. <laughs> Finding Nemo reference, if anyone got that. I shall call you squishy and you shall be my squishy. 
Uh, was I like this last time? I think I was. Yeah, I think this is switched. Okay. There we have it. So we're in Burmese pose. We have one foot in front of the other, not crossed. And we're pulling the knees apart to help relax the knees down onto the mat. Welcome back, Felicia. Hopefully the connection's working better for you this time. And we're not folding across over our lap or anything. We're just, um, yes, we're just relaxing here and trying to relax the hips, knees, and ankles. And uh, for anyone who's on Periscope, if you see Felicia and Klopnoff, I, I'm under the impression that they're going to get married because I introduced them on my scope. One is in Sweden, one's in Denmark. It just seems perfect, like it was meant to be. Okay, Ben, I don't know who you are, but you're very demanding. I don't think I like it. I'm not going to take my socks off. I don't need to. I'm not hot. Okay. So after you've done Burmese pose on both sides, straighten your legs. And now this, the rest of this is your choice. You can have your legs crossed if that's comfortable for you. You can leave the legs out straight if that's more comfortable. If you like kneeling, you can do that. So whatever works for you, you want to have a nice tall spine. <laughs> the Kevin Hart heads are scary. Yeah, I did not know who that head was for a long time, but uh, Dr. John, actually, shout out. So you guys, you should all follow each other down here. Well, I, you guys can't see each other down here, but um, there's Fowl Original on here. He's cool. He's from the UK. He's really funny. He has an awesome voice. I love watching his stuff. He's really funny. Um, and then Dr. John, he's a pharmacist down in Long Island, not far from me. Um, and he's really cool. He shares really inspirational broadcasts and different alternative news, alternative media, which I personally love. And then you can follow Felicia, but you have to catch her broadcast live. The voice and picture is not together. Is it like that for everybody? So we're going to have our nice tall spine, put our right hand next to our right hip, inhale our left arm up, and then exhale to the right, open up your left side body, press your left hip down into the ground, stretch, and on your next inhale, come back center, lower the left hand down, switch which leg is in front, there's a delay. You're going to do more broadcasts, that's so exciting, you guys should all do lots of broadcasts so I can get to know you all better. So left hand comes next to the left hip, inhale, right arm up, and then exhale, walk yourself to the left, stretch open that right rib cage, right lung, keep that right hip pushing down, relax your neck, hug your shoulder into its socket, and then inhale back center, and relax. Good stuff. So let's do some twists. I'm sorry that it's delayed, I'm not sure the best solution to that, I mean we have 15 people in here, so I hesitate to end the broadcast because I'm still a noob and when I have 15 people, I get excited. So inhale. Exhale, twist to the right, cross your left hand across the front of your body, right hand comes behind your back, and you look over the right shoulder, both shoulders stay down. Inhale, feel yourself growing tall, and then exhale, twist any tension out of your spine like a sponge. Inhale, back center. Switch the legs. You did a test broadcast. Is it still up? Is the replay still up, Martin? I'm going to check it out. All right, Ben. I've had enough of your comments for sure. Get out of here. Okay. So we switch the legs. Other legs in front. Deep breath in. Exhale. Twist to the left, crossing the right arm in front of your body. Left hand comes behind the back. Twist your spine. Stay in your pain-free range of motion. I see you pushing yourselves too hard. Don't do that. Inhaling to get tall. Exhaling to twist the tension out of your spine like a sponge. And then inhaling back center. Exhale, rel relax. <laughs> Release your shoulders down away from your ears. Thank you, Felicia, for inviting followers. I know, Martin, right? Like, why don't these creepy people on Periscope just go onto the internet where they can get what they're looking for for free? Hey, Susan. Hey, and Brad and Becky. Hello, everyone on Facebook. I'm sorry I'm neglecting you, but you guys don't really talk, so I'm not sure. All right, so let's straighten the legs out. Front. For staff pose, hands next to the hips. Shoulders hug together behind you. Lift your heart. Lift your crown of your head, the top of your head. Deep breath in. Lift the arms up overhead. And exhale, fold. Yep, 
have a broadcast on Facebook right now. Hey, Betsy. Facebook's kind of whack, though. Like, I feel like it doesn't always work. Sometimes it doesn't capture my live streams. I'm feeling really, I can't barely bend. I can't barely bend right now. Let your head be heavy. Ooh, my neck is stiff. So if your neck is stiff too, this is what you're going to do. Anytime you're in a forward fold like this where your head should be just hanging, you're going to inhale your chin up a bit and then exhale, let it go. Massaging the part where your skull meets your spine to help your body release that tension from the spine. Imagine you're pushing your, sit, your seat back behind you. One more breath here, full exhale. And then bring yourself back up, stretching the back body. Oof, good stuff. All right, let's come on to hands and knees. I think we're getting to the end here. We got five more minutes, let's make it count. Why don't we do two quick sun salutations? That might take five minutes, so. Before, actually, before we do that, let's just make sure our spine is adequately warmed up. So we bring our hands under our shoulders. You can't really, you're not gonna be able to really see this. There we go. Let me turn the other way, it's Facebook. There we go, there we go. All right, hands are right below the shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, look straight down for table pose. Long spine, inhale. As you exhale, push the earth away from you, round your spine. And then inhale, lift your tailbone up, lift your heart, lift your head. For cat-cow pose, exhaling to round. And inhaling to stretch the belly, stretch the front of the body. So this is a great way to warm up the spine. Massage the discs between the vertebrae. And it's a good time to check in for any pain or stiffness, tension in the spine. A couple more times like this. Take your time to get there after your next inhale into cow pose. Exhale back into table pose, looking straight down. If you are wearing socks, now is your time to take them off. Now that that dude Ben is gone. <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Socks are off. We're almost done. And then we can just chat, have a discussion, talk crap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put my hair up so that you can actually see what's going on here. How am I warm already? I do not, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Hey, Fowl, how, how's your beard shaving coming along? Wait, Fowl, I told you to do a broadcast on that. Crap, I forgot to tell you that. Oh, that would have been a good broadcast, I think. Too late now, you're already captive, captive on mine. All right, Steve, I don't know what the moon is, but I don't like it. Hello, hello. Hey, Casey. Cool. All right, so we come on to hands and knees. And then this may or may not work for you, especially depending on if you have a, a larger belly or not. So if this doesn't work, that's okay. Just whatever works for you. We're going to step to the top of our mats and hang forward and forward fold. Hands to the thighs. Inhale halfway up. Exhale to fold. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. We're almost done. Inhale, sweep it all the way out and up. Look, you can almost see my, my whole body. I turned the camera. Today's the first time that uh, I have the cameras going a long ways, trying to actually see me when I stand up, which never works. Really? Yeah, you know, yesterday I was using an HTC phone, and that was giving us problems. So then I, I switched to the Samsung, and it worked better. So that's why I'm using it today, but um, I don't know why it's lagging. But we're almost done. And then maybe I'll start a new broadcast just for our discussion. All right, so now we're standing at the top of our mat with our hands together at our heart center in prayer pos po position, Anjali Mudra. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I don't know if it's yours. It might be mine. I think it's mine. I'll restart the broadcast right after this. We're almost done. So exhale completely. You guys, it's starting to snow. It's starting to snow outside right now in New York. Not cool. It was 70 degrees yesterday, the day before that, and the day before that. 
and now it's snowing. Not cool. Okay. Exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up overhead. Look up at the hands. Exhale, fold. I'm going to take this opportunity to tuck my shirt in so I'm not showing off my skin. But you can just stay folding because remember no one can see you, so what do you care? This is Periscope. It's like Troll Nation. I'm not really trying to be about that. Nope, I have, this is a Samsung. It's a Samsung Galaxy here that I'm using right now. So I'm an Android user. All right. Hands to the thighs. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back as far as you can. Lower the knee to the ground for a lunge pose. Let's see, you can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, try not to knock over your TV because it's expensive. Right knee is hugging over the right ankle. And you're just trying to sink both hips down and forward. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your front leg back, back into hands and knees. I kind of feel like I should just like turn this sideways. Because it would be so much easier to see the important stuff, except now you're not going to see anything. I don't know, let's see how it works. So press on your next exhale, press up into your downward facing dog. Yeah, I don't really know that that's better, but sorry, I'm trying to do this on two, two cameras here. Hmm. Take three rounds of breath in your downward facing dog. And then shift forward onto plank pose. And then shift forward, lowering down into chaturanga. And up into upward facing dog. Hug your thighs up off the earth. Only do this if it doesn't hurt. You guys can't even see anything. I don't even know. I don't know the best way to do this. This is what I get for trying a new camera angle today. I'm going to go back to this. I don't know, just stick with what was kind of working. Okay, so upward facing dog is like a back bend, like this. Inhale, and then exhale, tuck your toes under, press back into downward facing dog, bending one knee and then the other. And then look between the hands, your choice. You can either lower the knees first and then bring the left leg forward, or maybe like me, you can just step it forward. So you guys know what this looks like, now it's the lunge. And if you can't have your hands on the, on the earth, that's okay. Maybe bring your hands to your thigh. Shoulders are down and back. Shoulder blades are squeezing together behind us. There's a problem with my network. I know it's delayed, but is it now just like impossible to even tell what's going on or here? Stepping the back foot forward, folding. I guess we're done anyway. So inhale halfway up, hands to the thighs. Exhale, fold. Hey, Alicia. And then inhale, sweep the arms all the way out and up overhead. Exhale, hands together at the heart center. And we're just about ready to close. Oh, no sound. Okay, I'm going to restart this broadcast. So namaste. Namaste, Facebook, because I don't think you're skipping. And we'll restart our Periscope broadcast.